hi guys welcome back again today to another video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this style here i'm going to be linking the picture here a client sent this to me so it's a very easy dress it's a free dress okay so this is uh like a beginner's project you can do this in 10 minutes trust me <laughs> so the first thing you want to do you want to measure from your center back okay you want to measure from your center back to where you want your sleeve to stop okay so for for me here i have 19 inches that is what you are going to be folding with okay measure from your center back to where you want your sleeve to stop so i have 19 inches right now so that's how you are going to fold out your fabric okay so i folded 19 inches okay as you can see the 19. so the next thing you're going to do you are going to bring out your length so i'm just going to bring out the length it's a short dress so my client is not really that tall so i'm going to be bringing out a length of 38 inches so then i'm going to add two inches for joining 38 inches length then two inches for joining okay So after bringing out your length, the next thing you are going to do, you are going to come here to take, to bring out your neckline, okay? So this, this kind of dress doesn't have zip and it doesn't have button, okay? So you want to try as much as possible to keep your neckline wide enough for it to be, for so that it will be easy for the person to wear it or for you to wear it rather. So when you are making things like this, it's usually a standard of 4 inches, that's like that the minimum you can go is four inches that's what i mean so but today i'm going to be using five okay so if you want to make any free dress that doesn't have zipper but the minimum is four so you can do more than four not lower than four so i'm using five inches here then i'm coming down with four inches okay i'm using a neck width of, of five and a neck depth of four okay neck width five and neck depth four so i'm going to connect that together so then you come here, you're going to be taking your shoulder slope. I'm using 1.5 inch to slope my shoulder over there. So I'm going to connect that together. So I'm using 1.5 inch to slope my shoulder. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm sloping my shoulder with 1.5 inch and my neck width is four by is five by four. Okay. So the next thing you want to do, you want to bring in the client's round sleeve measurement because it's a free dress. Okay. It's a is a loose top and it's like a kimono, it's a kimono sleeve. So the first thing you want to do, the round sleeve of this client is 16, half of that is eight. Then I'm going to add one inch to that. So I'm adding one inch to that so that it can be loose around that part because it doesn't have to really be fitted like it is in the picture. So the round sleeve plus one inch, that's what I have there. So now I'm going to now come to this line. So because this dress is not a fitted dress, it's a loose fitting dress, it's like a shift dress. So I'm going to insert the client bust line around this line. So a uh, bust measurement, quarter of this client bust is 10. So I'm going to add one inch. 1.5 inch for ease and another one inch for joining for seam allowance okay that's exactly what i'm going to do so that i'm going to connect like so okay so it's a free dress good so now i'm going to come here from here i'm going to now measure the hip line and now i'm going to go to the hip line so when i get to the hip line i'm using 24 inches for this client okay 24 inches so inside the hip measurement okay the hip is also 10 okay this client's hip is also 10 inches so i'm also going to add 1.5 inch for ease and another one inch for seam allowance okay so it all depends if your client hip is bigger you use it so we are totally ignoring the waist so if you notice in this pattern i don't have any natural waist or waist measurement okay because it's not a shapey dress so you want to do away with your waist measurement okay so it's just from the bust all the way down to the hip all the way down okay 
so then I'm going to come here, bring my curve ruler, and I'm going to curve here. I'm this part, okay? So I'm just going to give a slight curve around here, so you're going to smoothen it out, okay? So that's what we have at the moment. So the sleeve is going to be having like a turn up. That is why I did not add any seam allowance to that 19 inches. And this is really, really simple. So I want to have a different neckline for the back. So I'm just going to be shaping the back neckline here. I want to use uh, two inches for the back instead of four, okay? So I want to mark two inches here. So I'll shape out the back neck. The front neck depth I'm using is four, but the back neck depth is, is two, okay? You can also leave all the neckline to be the same. It's totally your choice. It's also okay. So this is very simple. Like I said, it's beginner's project. So, and this is my shoulder slope. I'm going to be adding seam allowance there. I'm just going to, I'm not going to cut exactly on that line. I want to give it a 0 0.5 inch seam allowance. Okay. now then our dress is as good as ready so the next thing you want to do you want to place this to cut the back okay you want to use this to cut at the back so i'm going to So if you open this out, this is what we have, okay? So it's just a really simple, it's a simple dress, okay? Like a patch pocket, okay? So I'm going to be creating the patch pocket with these jeans, and it has like a tiny design along in the middle, okay? So we're going to also do that. So I'll take my ruler, you want to rule out the midline, okay? So guys, I've prepped all of my patterns, okay? Uh, as you can see, I already pre-fold my, uh, uh, my pocket with the iron, okay? I pre-fold it with the iron so that it will be easy for me to sew. So I'm going to be attaching the fabric at the upper part. So I'm also going to be attaching this piece in the midline, okay? I also went ahead to use my iron to pre-fold it as well. So I'm just going to try as much as possible to place it in the middle. I'm going to pin it to the middle because that, that has to stay at the midline, okay? Then I'll sew this. I'll sew on the both side here and here. Then I'll do the same thing for, for the pocket. I'm going to stitch the pocket all the way round like so okay aside this part where the hand is going to go through so we're going to do that so guys i've joined the two sides together i've also gone ahead to m the bottom okay so what's left for us to do nice to there's also a design here, like a turn up, a turn up sleeve is here at the sleeve. So I'm just going to measure the sleeve so I can do that. Then the last thing to do is to finish up the neckline. So I'm also going to be using the jeans to create the turn up. So I'm going to measure that. I want to measure the wideness that we have here. So I have eight, that's total of 16. So I'm going to be cutting this 16 in.
So I'm going to be sewing it on the inside like so. So the after sewing, I'll bring it out. So we're going to have like a torn up sleeve at the end of the day okay so i'm going to sew that then i'll show you guys hi guys here is the finished look of this shift dress that we just made this is a beginner's friendly project and i hope you learned something from this video so i'll see you guys in my next video bye